All right, hello everyone, and welcome to another video. Today, I will be working on my 50cc extended chassis quad, and I'm gonna be making an exhaust out of this 32mm pipe. I think it's actually a water pipe, but it'll do good for this. I'm currently cutting a flange out for it. That was all drawn freehand, but it'll be right. And then I'll be making a seat. So I'll get a piece of plywood and some foam and put a old sheet or something over it and staple it on. Should be good. So I've just made up the exhaust. Yeah, I know it's pretty short, but it doesn't really bother me. And it actually fits really good. The flange looks a little bit dodgy, but the holes and everything are in the right spot. And it fits up into the motor really good and then just come straight out the side it's actually gonna look really cool i like it so now dad and i have just gone ahead and cut a piece of plywood and tack welded a few bolts in with the tab on them so they stop them from moving and that'll just bolt into those two holes and those two holes and now i'm just about to cut up some old uh, inflating camping mattress stuff and I'm gonna wrap it around it and staple it so it should be right all right I've covered the seat now with the uh, inflatable mattress thing for camping S did staple it to the side of the wood here because I didn't quite leave myself enough to get it underneath and staple underneath but this side's pretty good and this will pretty much be it for this video no it's probably only a short one but next video I'll get some footage of me running it with the new dump pipe and do a couple do slow laps because it's, it's not a speed machine but it'll still do what I want it to do and me and my dad also widened the chassis rails a little bit because there's so much motor slop and the carby hits the frame. But that's why there's no bolts in the fuel tank now because they don't fit. Well, you guys probably want to hear it start. I didn't get to start it for you in the last video because it sort of refused to. But I'll give it a go for you guys now. I've got the second battery on there to try and give the start and like a a little bit of help, but I've just had it running so it should start pretty easy. Only way to kill it. I haven't rigged up a kill switch yet, but it runs pretty good. You've got to have the choke open the slightest bit for it to run the best. If you have it all the way um, closed, so it's full flow, it uh, sort of doesn't really rev up real nicely. But anyway, it actually sounds pretty good. Uh, no one really likes it because it's obnoxiously loud, and they're not used to it. But I think it's pretty cool. Bit. But anyway, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like and subscribe, and uh, you'll see another video if you want. Yeah.